Samsung Galaxy S4 Active press renders get leaked. Nokia and AT&T already seem to be testing an EOS phone, and HTC seems to be considering being nice about stock Android to early adopters. I'm Jaime Rivera, and thank God it's Friday, I don't have to be wearing these polos anymore. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with the expected news. We all heard the rumors that HTC could be working on a Windows RT tablet for the future and, well, according to new reports, they are discarding the idea. And we don't blame them. Windows RT has been a complete disappointment to many, uh, almost everybody. And, well, it's been so bad that even Microsoft is now offering touch covers and type covers for free if you buy a Surface RT. Um, good move, HTC. Now let's talk about the white LG Nexus 4. We all heard the company announced this device for Asia a couple of days ago, and it's now available in the Google Play Store for everybody else. You can order it in the same variant. It's pretty much the same device, only with a white back, and it's the same price tag as well. And you get a free bumper if you order today, which is, uh, it's a bumper. Now let's talk about Nokia and AT&T. Both companies are apparently already testing the first Nokia EOS smartphone, or EOS. Its codename is Elvis, for reasons that I cannot the cipher and well even though you're getting a groundbreaking camera and a xenon flash and everything that the reports confirm uh, well you're apparently getting the same specs as the Lumia 920 uh, and if that device is actually going to be launched in the fall it's going to have a year old spec 720p display and everything else would you still consider it Moving over to Samsung, we've got some press renders of the Galaxy S4 Active now in gray. And, well, if you look at it from the front, it looks exactly like the Galaxy S4. And honestly, the back looks a lot better than the plastic key device that we already know. Now, interesting enough, yes, you are getting some lesser specs on this device, like a lesser camera and everything. But for the fact that you're getting a rugged phone and a prettier phone, in my opinion, it's kind of worth to consider. But which one would you pick? And finally, for the interesting news of the day, those early adopters of the HTC One will apparently not be left in the cold by the company as they've just confirmed that they're considering if they're gonna be offering a ROM for those of you early adopters to be able to move into stock Android and turn your device into a Google Edition device. It's kind of interesting to see this move finally by an OEM, and if you think about it, it's kind of fair considering that the HTC One is barely a couple of months in the market. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Hypothetically, let's assume that you don't get this ROM for free. Let's say that they're gonna charge you some money for it. Would you be willing to pay for an official stock ROM to turn your device into a Google Edition device? Uh, in my particular case, if the price is right, I would definitely pay for it. But then again, yes, I know a lot of people would say, why don't you root it and get CyanogenMod on it? Well, the problem is CyanogenMod is not really stock ROM and you're not getting stock updates immediately. So yeah, if the price is right, again, I would pay for it. But leave us a comment down below. What would you prefer? And of course, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you Monday.